Good morning and welcome. The hymn is found on page 328 in the Glory and Praise. 328, Glory and Praise. We'll sing the first two verses at the beginning. Wake from your sleep, a Savior is born. God's holy child gives light to this morn. All our darkness to dispel. Praise to our God whose glory we tell. Come from your fields as shepherds of old. Welcome this child whom prophets foretold. God has made the earth his home. Praise to our God, the Savior has come. Good morning and welcome. We pray this morning on the feast of Saints Basil the Great and Gregory Nazianzen for Joseph Pizzacola and for Father Trevor Plug. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Let us call to mind our sins. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father where you intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who were pleased to give light to your church by the example and teaching of bishops St. Basil and Gregory, grant, we pray, that in humility we may learn your truth and practice it faithfully in charity through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the first letter of John. My little ones, who is the liar but the one who denies that Jesus is the Christ? This is the Antichrist, the one who denies the Father and the Son. No one who denies the Son has the Father. Everyone who confesses the Son has the Father also. Let what you heard from the beginning abide in you. If what you heard from the beginning abides in you, then you will abide in the Son and in the Father. And this is what he promised us, eternal life. I write these things to you concerning those who would deceive you. As for you, the anointing that you received from him abides in you. And so you do not need to teach anyone to teach you. But as his anointing teaches you about all things, and it is true, and is not a lie. And just as it has taught you, abide in him. And now, little children, abide in him, so that when he is revealed, we may have confidence and not be put to shame before him at his coming. The word of the Lord. The response to the psalm, 
All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of our God. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of our God. O oh, sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous things. His right hand and his holy arm have won him victory. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of our God. The Lord has made known his victory. He has revealed his vindication in the sight of nations. He has remembered his steadfast love and faithfulness to the house of Israel. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of our God. All the ends of the earth have seen the victory of our God. Make a joyful noise to the Lord, all the earth. Break forth into joyous song and sing praises. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of our God. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. In the past, God spoke to our ancestors through the prophets. Now God speaks to us through his Son. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. This is the testimony given by John when the Jewish leaders sent priests and Levites from Jerusalem to ask him, Who are you? He confessed and did not deny it, but confessed, I am, the Mess I am not the Messiah. They asked him, Who then? Are you Elijah? John said, I am not he. Are you a prophet? He answered, no. Then they said to him, who are you? Let us have an answer for those who sent us. What do you say about yourself? John said, I am the voice of one crying out in the wilderness. Make straight the ways of the Lord, as the prophet Isaiah said. Now they had been sent from the Pharisees. They asked him, Why then are you baptizing if you are neither the Messiah, nor Elijah, nor the prophet? John answered them, I baptize with water. Among you stands one whom you do not know the one who is coming after me. I'm not worthy to untie the thong of his sandal. This took place in Bethany across the Jordan where John was baptizing. <laughs> the Gospel of the Lord. We are not dealing with a baby as we did at Christmas, but we are dealing with an adult now in Jesus Christ. And imagine that you are a person who has been awaiting the arrival of someone great, and you are told that he's standing among you. How would you feel? First thing you'd be doing is looking around and saying, who is it? Which one of you is the person? And when John announced to the Pharisees, the scribes, and to the people who were listening to their questions about his identity, he said to them, he's not the Messiah, but that the Messiah was among them. And this was indeed good news. But it was good news for those who were open to receiving the Messiah in their heart and into their life. You're here today because you have received the Messiah. 
Not only have you received the Messiah, but you seek to be like him. You seek to walk with him. You seek to make him part of your life. And as a result of that, you will re be rewarded for the way that you remain faithful to Jesus. Your presence says that you want Jesus to be a part of you. After you leave here, take him with you through the communion you receive, through the word of God that is spoken to you today, and rejoice. Rejoice that you are so close to your Lord and Savior, and then ask him to work through you to influence other people to love God. Let us stand and offer our prayers to God, gathered as a family, united in faith and baptism. Let us, with confidence, bring our needs and prayers before our loving God and Father. The response, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, our prayer. For our church, may God continue to help us grow in holiness and strength as we nurture a culture of healing and life, let us pray to the Lord. Lord For all nations and peoples, may the saving power of God be their light and their joy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord For Christians across the world who lack religious freedom, May the strength of Jesus help them stay firm in their beliefs. Let us pray to the Lord. For those in our faith community, may God continue to open our hearts to the message of his love. Let us pray to the Lord. For Pope Emeritus Benedict XVI, for the intentions of this Mass, for Joseph Pizzicola, and I'm sorry, I've forgotten the other intention, but for that intention also, and for all who have died marked with the sign of faith, may the Lord bring them to his side in the kingdom of heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord Father, hear our prayers. We trust in your kindness and compassion. We make these prayers through Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. We are also praying for Father Trevor Plug. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, work of human hands. It will become our spiritual food. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever.
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept this sacrifice from your people, we pray, O Lord, and make what is offered for your glory in honor of Saints Basil and Gregory a means to our eternal salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For through him, the holy exchange that restores our life has shone forth today in splendor. When our frailty is assumed by your word, not only does human mortality receive unending honor, but by this wondrous union, we too are made eternal. So in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you, and with joy we proclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished 
by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Catherine of Alexandria, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis our Pope, Gerard our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, to Pope Emeritus Benedict XVI, to Joseph Pizzicola, to Father Trevor Plug, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. peace, peace. May this mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us who receive it. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace.
as you come to communion today, we have restored the way of coming to communion. Two lines down the center aisle, and we begin from the front. We no longer begin from the back on only one side and then the other side. So we come back to communion the way we did before COVID. Recognizing those who are watching virtually and who would love to receive communion but cannot sacramentally, we make a spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. The communion antiphon, we proclaim Christ crucified, Christ the power of God and the wisdom of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. May partaking at the heavenly table, Almighty God, confirm and increase strength from on high in all who celebrate the feast day of Saints Basil and Gregory, that we may persevere in integrity, that we may preserve the integrity, I'm sorry, that we may preserve in integrity the gift of faith and walk in the path of salvation you trace for us through Christ our Lord. We fly to thy protection, O Holy Mother of God. Despise not our petitions and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in the day of battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl throughout the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Good Saint Joseph, ever watchful guardian of the Holy Family, protect the chosen people of Jesus Christ. Keep us free from the blight of error and corruption and be our ally in the conflict with the powers of darkness. As of old, you rescued the child Jesus from the plots of Herod. So now defend the universal church from all harm. Keep us, one and all, under your continual protection, so that by your help and example, we may lead a holy life, die a happy death, and come to possess eternal life in heaven. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by the way you live your life. Thanks be to God. Hymn number 328, In the Glory and Praise, the last two verses. People, thank you for coming to Mass this morning. I hope you have a really good Christmas celebration today and a good New Year's Day. Stay with us now, O Lord of the earth. Make of our hearts a place for your birth. Though our cares be great or small, Jesus the Lord be born in us all. Now shall the earth take joy in her tears. Now shall our hearts be turned from their fears. All the earth shall sing God's praise. Jesus, the Lord, be born in this day. Have a nice day. Have a nice day.